Beyond the technology and sophisticated machinery lies the concept of space, travel to unknown worlds, the unanswered mysteries. But for children, there's a special fascination. A fascination that combines mystery, imagination, and fear. Mr. Rogers, the man who speaks with children daily through his public television program, reflected some of the attitudes of children toward our space program when he spoke recently with astronaut Alfred Warden. They met in the launch room of the Kennedy Space Center, and Fred Rogers asked Warden a number of questions from children about space. One child wanted to know if the astronauts will be scared. The answer to the question is yes. We're going a long ways away from the Earth. Uh, we're going in a very, very small compartment. Uh, it's going to be very lonely where we're going. We'll be in touch with people only by radio. And I think yes. I think we all do things now and then that we want to do, but which scare us just a little bit. And I, and I feel that way about this flight. One child wanted to know, do little children ever go to the moon? No, we don't have any little children yet that we would take to the moon. And in fact, we don't have any ladies yet that go to the moon. I think someday we will send ladies and we will send children. So many children wondered whether those suits that you wear are heavy, and do you need people to help you get dressed in those suits? The spacesuits are very heavy. In fact, uh, the suits weigh about 70 pounds. You have to have somebody get help you into the suit because the suits are, are very tight fitting. They have a very tight zipper on them and they're very difficult to get into. So we have to have somebody help us on with the suits. Al, I'd like to know for myself, do you wear those space suits all the time? During no, the we only wear space suits when there's any question about keeping our atmosphere around us inside the cockpit of the, of the of the spacecraft. So we wear it during launch, and then we wear it any time we're going to open a hatch or we're going to go between our spacecraft and the one that's going to land on the moon. The rest of the time during the flight, we wear just a set of coveralls. They're lightweight coveralls that we wear over our constant wear garments. The constant wear garment is uh, just a fancy name for long, long underwear, and we wear those when we're not wearing a spacesuit. How do you go to the potty when you're flying to the moon? A very young friend of mine asked that and was concerned about it. Well, I think, I, I think that's a very, very good question. And bless children for asking the question because sometimes grown-ups don't like to ask those sorts of questions. And I think children are honest and open enough so that they'll ask that kind of a question. But we go to the potty on the way to the moon and back just like we do here on the ground. The only difference is that when we make a BM, we collect it in a plastic bag, and we save it, and we bring it back with us. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's exactly the same as here on Earth. Now, one child wanted to know, do spacemen ever get thirsty? Oh, yes, we get thirsty all the time. And in fact, probably not known by a lot of people, is that we make our own water as we go. The um, equipment that supplies us with electrical energy to run all the systems that we have produces water. And we collect that water and we drink that water on the way out to the moon and back. One child said, how do you think he'll feel when he splashes down in the water? I really haven't thought that much about it, but I think I'll feel sad that, it's, that the flight's finished. I think I'll feel happy that we've been there and we're back. And I think I'll be awfully glad to see somebody. One child said, do astronauts ever cry? I think that we'd have to, I'd have to answer that, that particular question in two ways. One is in the part of an astronaut that you see, when you see one on television, when you watch a launch, that part of that astronaut doesn't cry. He's doing a job and he's, he's not um, sad about it. There is nothing to cry about, so he doesn't cry. But I think once he's home and once he's involved with other people and with children, if something should come up to make him sad, certainly he'd cry. Al, one more question from a child, and that was, why do people go to the moon? That is a question that, that we've all thought about a great deal, and I, I guess from my own standpoint, we go to the moon so that we can learn more about ourselves. We learn more about Earth. We learn more about the moon. We want to find out more about 
how to make people comfortable and how they can learn about themselves and about the things around them more. And that's one of the reasons we go to the moon, is so that we can make the Earth a better place to live. Mr. Rogers talking to astronaut Alfred Warden. <laughs> 